I'm walking on cement barefoot, and the only thing I have between the cement is a small piece of cardboard. On you. All right. Hey. All right, man, race it to the top. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> What's going on, fire team? Welcome to Shift Fire, where we appreciate and explore everything military culture. My name is Cameron Fath, and I'm with... Israel Wright. It's good to be back, folks. Today, we're doing an episode called War Wallet. The objective of War Wallet is to compare and contrast the same equipment, but from two different price points to see how they stack up against one another. This episode is specifically on one of the most important pieces of kit a soldier can have, and that's boots. Boots. Boots, boots. 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 Boots are important. They're gonna drive you to the objective and it's gonna be the determining factor whether you can effectively do your job with or without blisters on your feet. So we have a pair of very cheap jungle boots and we have a pair of very expensive boots. I can't wait to try the expensive boots, but we're gonna find out if the money is worth it. Folks, we would love it if you would subscribe to the channel and join us on future episodes of Shift Fire. Now let's step on to the battlefield. Before we conquer this battlefield, let's see what pair of boots are gonna aid us in our quest. Got them in our rucks here. Let's pull it out and reveal our budget boots. So we got our Rothko jungle boots. You can acquire these for a measly $20 on Amazon, right? They're super cheap. Obviously very lightweight material. Maybe not a lot of flexibility in the toe, yeah. in the sole right there. Your sole looks pretty aggressive here. The tread on this sole looks aggressive. I mean, definitely as a jungle boot, you would want something with a lot of tread to get you through that jungle environment. This thing is like a leather glove. Not you know, a lot of comfort here. Oh my God, there is no sole. Not a lot of inner sole in there. And inner soles are gonna be huge when talking about comfort of the overall actual boot itself. Yeah, I definitely call these boots soleless. All right, well, let's strap them up, dude. Let's, <laughs> let's lace up. Let's do it, man. Do you do anything in particular to get rid of that extra lace? I always feel like I have 15 miles of lace. Yeah, man, I'll take my sock and then instead of tucking it in the boot, like for this one, I'll just take the access in the sock, do my knot up top, make sure that heel is really sat in the pocket there. Tie, standard bow tie, nothing crazy. And then I'll take my sock, fold it down, and throw the access up top. Oh, it's clever, I like that. Initial feel, ain't no cushioning, man. It's, it's my foot. They're solid. Yeah, and then that sole right underneath me. I'm walking on cement barefoot, and the only thing I have between the cement is a small piece of cardboard. It's all right, I can take a few steps. Don't think I can't. All right, let's ruck up. You ready? I think so. All right, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> ready, willing, and able. Yeah, these and <laughs> boots suck. I can feel it reverberate through, all the way up through my knees I can my feel legs. every step. Every step I take just puts me closer to hell. I long for oblivion. Oh, my knees. Yeah, these steps aren't, uh, yeah. they're just there. They're not really steps. They don't really care who you are. Nope. Uh, yeah, I think I get the point. The experience isn't gonna get any better than this. I'm completely fine, I'm not winded. I could conquer this hill, <laughs> but in a actual good pair of boots, I wanna be able to walk inside my house without my feet on ice for 24 hours. We know these boots just fucking suck. So let's head back down and get our good pair of boots and see how those work. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> These boots can't come off fast enough, let me tell you. You got 20 bucks laying around, you're better off spending it on a six pack and yeah. having a good night relying on these things to propel you to destroy the enemy. I think I probably would have had more cushion if I would have walked barefoot. These things suck. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care what the price is. You couldn't pay me, actually. Yeah, to, you couldn't uh, give me $20 on. and these boots and <laughs> expect me to wear them. Boots are so important. They're so important. And it's one of those things you just can't penny pinch on. Spend the money, get yourself a good pair of boots because you're gonna end up in a lot of pain and you're gonna end up wishing you spent that extra dollar. The inner sole is non-existent. It's literally just a piece of small cardboard that says made in China. Walking about 20 steps immediately, I felt my knees start to swell up, yep. but the bottoms of my feet were in pain. It reverberates and, you know, up your body. Absolutely, you can feel the impact of everything. And 
That's why shoe selection is so important because it's going to prevent a lot of that damage going on and giving you that proper support is going to propel you to, you know, be successful. And these boots are pure failure. <laughs> Pure failure. And uh, yeah, just not a good deal, man. Not Let's go deal. ahead and check out the actual boots and yeah. see how those hold up. Anything else would be better than this. Oh, hell yeah. The Garmin T8. Already the feel is nice and, and they're still light. There's still a lot of lightness. Yeah, it's what I wore in Ranger School for my cold weather boots. No kidding. So I've actually walked in these. They're awesome. They can take you anywhere. The Vibram sole grips rocks excellent. The Gore-Tex liner keeps your feet warm. They feel super light. Yeah. They look comfortable. Absolutely. I can already feel on the inside. We got at least we a little a bit sole. of cushioning. Yeah, yeah. A little, there a little is bit a of sole in these ones. The other ones will take your sole. This will add to it. I love these boots. Let's go ahead and lace them up and get going, Let's huh? Let's do it, man. You're my best guy in the room, Cam. Thanks, man. So who's mine? Until the day that I usurp your power. Yeah. And take the channel for myself. The knowledge transfer. <laughs> I beat ya. Dang it. Oh, that's, that that's cushion so makes better. such a big it difference, It feels like man. a warm hug yeah, like from a, like a, a really caress. good friend that you haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. And it's just, you know, and you love them so much. Yeah, good cushion all around the foot, underneath and all around. Absolutely. And that Gore-Tex liner is gonna keep your foot warm. It's gonna keep liquids out and it's just gonna be a good old time, man. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready to hit it. Absolutely. Let's get this battlefield going one step at a time. Now, with an actual good boot. <laughs> now that we're actually prepared with a good pair of boots, let's conquer this battlefield. Shall we? I'm ready. On you. All right. Hey! You know, yeah. every step was closer to hell with those last boots, now, I'm going towards the divine, baby. All right, man, race it to the top. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Let's go. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nice, man. Dude, that was solid. The difference a good pair of boots can make yes. makes you feel like the king of the world. Top of the world, ma. We made it. Well, yeah, this is awesome, man. These feel amazing. It's well worth the price you pay. Absolutely. Yeah, comfort, weight, durability, it's all there. Makes the difference. Can't stress this enough. Boots matter. Pay the extra dime for it. Don't try to shortchange yourself because you'll just end up hurting yourself. Spend the extra dollar, get yourself a good pair of boots. Well, you know, man, even though we made it to the top, it's only half the battle. Let's head back down All right. and talk about these boots That's in depth. The easy part, I hope. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I feel good, I feel fresh, man. I feel good after that experience with these boots. Light, comfortable, very soft material. Now with the budget pair, you're absolutely hating your life every step you take <laughs> on top of heavy weight on your back. Yes. But boots matter. My recommendation yes. is invest in yourself and invest in a good pair of boots. And the Garmin T8s are an excellent example. Great time, folks. That's all we got for War Wallet today. Be sure to like the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Absolutely. Leave a comment. Let us know if there's a piece of equipment you want us to feature on War Wallet in case you're on the fence about something and you want to know whether to go the more expensive option or the cheaper price. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Shift Fire. And folks, we would love it if you would subscribe to the channel, keep track with future episodes of Shift Fire. Before we conquer. Uh, Ah! Ah! Adrian! Adrian! <laughs>